Hello, hello. Today's video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel at any time. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. Every month they introduce their members to cool new products, outdoor gear, barware, homey kitchen goods, clothing, and more. Even live oysters, based on the preference quiz that you fill out. And their lineup of boxes is constantly changing every month. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods inside, but costs you only a fraction of the price. You can preview your box before it's shipped. You'll get a box of awesome assigned to you, and before it's shipped, you'll get a preview of what comes inside to decide if you'd like to 1. Keep it, 2. Swap it for a different box, or 3. Skip the month entirely for no charge. You only pay for what you want. One of my past boxes that I still enjoy to this day is the Sonic box, where I got these Bordeaux Premium Wireless Headphones. I continue to use them to jam out the tunes while I fold laundry and do other chores. One of the boxes I received this month that I'm so excited about is the Pickled box. Let me show you everything it came with. Eric's Pickled Tender Cactus. I can't wait to try this. Rick's Picks with Relish. Perfect for hot dogs. Walla Walla Pickled Sweet Onions. <gasps> can't wait to try this on a burger. Frankie's Smokin' Tequila Jalapenos. Tacos. These are gonna go great on some tacos. Some classic Sucker Punch pickles to snack on. And finally, it came with some smoky pepper pickling spice, which is perfect because I've been wanting to pickle my own vegetables for the longest time now, and now I can with some premium spices. To get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description and enter amyk20 at checkout, or go to bespokepost.com slash amyk20. And with that, thank you so much to Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video, and let's get on to the video. Can anyone hear me? Hello? I'm detecting a level 3 electromagnetic event in your survey area. Is anyone there? Do you read? as you can. I'll prep the med bay, okay?
nice to meet you. I am the colony medical officer. You can call me Dr. K. Can you please look straight at me? Thank you. Can you tell me what your name is? Good. Well, it's nice to meet you. Too bad it's under um, these circumstances. Right, I'm just going to pull up your file here. You aren't allergic to any medications, are you? Nope. Okay, good. I need to wash this. Okay. I have a spray here. that aside because I need to wipe this down okay hold still for me please this might stain okay so can you tell me what happened please sorry just getting a little bit closer but that's okay right okay so you were on the field. I hear you're a geologist. Amazing. So what were you working on? What were you collecting? Hey, you can look at me. Talk to me. You're collecting crystals. Good. So this is one of the crystals are from this planet, correct? They're the newer ones that were just found. Tell me more about them. Everything that you know about them. Okay. So they come from the center of this planet and make their way out. Very cool. So they have been forged from the center of the planet. Amazing. Okay, so you are collecting it when your tool backfired. Well, that's interesting. Oh, this area, there's a large collection of them. Well then, hold still. This is a first aid spray. It's gonna relieve the pain, but it's also gonna help produce infection. second or third degree damage. I don't see any signs of radiation. Okay. Okay, so this one right here looks to be a small laceration. And another small laceration on this side, but I do want to add some. Something to help keep them close to this the area on our faces. Thin skin, so bleeds a lot. I'm already seeing a lot of inflammation in this area. It's puffing up real quick, but that means that your body is working. Okay, so can you feel this right here? Oh, right here. Okay, how painful would you say on a scale of 1 to 10? Okay, that's what I thought burns even if it's first degree, it can hurt a lot. I'm going to give you a quick pain reliever injection. You won't feel it. It's going to take just a second. Okay, look here. Look here. Look here. Look here. Good. And just like that. All done. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure that it distributes gently. Right there. Okay, good. Alright. So now that we got that taken care of, we can 
slow down, right? Just now that I know that you aren't horribly hurt, we can just deal with your wounds, okay? Sorry for all the craziness there. I just wanted to make sure that everything was fine before I decided to take my time. Okay, so we have a burn and we have some cuts. I already cleaned out the area a bit, but I want to go back in and just be a little bit more detailed, especially around the cuts, okay? Especially around that area. And then we're going to scan for any infections or any um, foreign invaders, bacteria, viruses, whatever that could cause issues. Just gonna gently, very gently wipe this. Okay. Very gently wipe this one here. I want it to be clean and I want it to be well washed out with this saline solution sort of thing. Before I start to apply other things. Okay. Let's quickly scan to make sure that there aren't any foreign invaders that could cause um, infections, okay? And this should be able to find um, ones that are native to this planet as well as Earth. So, hold still, please. there. Now I just want to get a little bit closer so I can take a look and make sure there aren't any like shrapnel or um, you know anything lodged in those cuts because it sounds like it was quite the backfire of energy. Did your tools explode or? No? Okay good. So it was just a blast of energy. Okay. That is really interesting. Um, while I was here, I was working on something and, um, a computer said that there had been a level 3 magnetic event. Normally I wouldn't worry too much since there happens to be a lot of magnetic storms on this planet. None of them are any issue generally. It doesn't even make our technology flicker. that 
regular burn gel does, which is, um, relieves that itchiness or pain that burns generally have. Now, it is topical, so, um, be sure not to wipe it off. It should dry pretty quickly, but sometimes it takes a moment. Um, alright. So what um, minerals or things have you found recently? Okay, I'm sorry that name means nothing to me. I assume you guys made that up. Really? So it's similar to... Okay. Does that mean that you will be able to use it for the same... So you can... possibly... okay. Well, that's interesting. Who would have thought you would have found a similar mineral to one on Earth? <laughs> hmm. Very cool. Alright, how does it feel? Better? Less itchy, maybe? Alright, so... The pain is taken care of, huh? to put some wound closures on your, like the cuts that you have there, just to help with healing. Okay. tool or anything uses the same energy that we have in all of our tools. Okay, hold still for me. So you said that there is like a collection of uh, these crystals in that, in that area? I mean, I don't know much about these things, but the structure of these crystals that you mentioned You don't think it could have um, absorbed the magnetic energy uh, 
these magnetic storms? Because I think... Just let me pull this up real quick. Yeah. yeah, there was some... There was a storm last night. It was a small one. But we didn't really think much of it again because it's like what? Like rain back on Earth. These magnetic storms aren't much to us. are this anomaly. Do you think that the crystals could be part of it? You want stuff, please? You think it could be related? Since you mentioned the structure was atomically Over the burn so that the gel doesn't wipe off. Okay, it's just basically a giant adhesive pad. Still please. Okay. Good how does it feel? Amazing. Lastly, I'm just going to wrap what we've done just to make sure that everything heals as fast as possible and nothing gets interrupted or anything like that. Okay? So I'm just going to
good. Alright, I'm just gonna do a quick little check of your eyes again. Okay, look straight at me, please. Good, keep looking. Fantastic. Now, can you tell me how many fingers I'm holding up? Good. How many fingers? And close. How many fingers? Far. How many fingers? Okay, close again. And far. Good. Can you follow my finger? Follow my finger with your eyes. Follow. 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 Good. Follow. Follow. Good. Okay. So, are you feeling any nausea or headaches of any sort? Hearing loss, disorientation? Okay. Vertigo or anything like that? Just want to make sure that concussion isn't an issue here. Have you any, ever had any prior concussions? Okay. If you stayed here in med bay tonight, um, we do have some really comfy beds that I think you might like. Uh, I just want to keep you for observation, make sure there isn't any issues, make sure everything's fine. By tomorrow morning, we'll have you out and doing your thing. Um, with the nano gel and everything, it should be healed in the next day or two. It works quick. As long as you don't itch it or mess with it or anything like that. Okay. The nurse will be here. She'll probably be walking around. I hope that's okay. You should be able to sleep, though. She's very quiet and good at what she does. So, um, I will see you tomorrow. And we can catch up on everything that happened, everything that went on, and maybe figure out how to avoid this in the future so that you don't get hurt again, because of course we don't want that. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for being such a good patient. And hopefully we can meet again under different circumstances.